58 Longley Road, the house that stands alone. So, for this price bracket, you, I don't think you're gonna find another house in Tooting, which is detached. This house stands on its own plot that runs right way around the outside here. Uh, I'll take you into the garden in a second, um, which is pretty special. Um, you have parking in front of the property. We are just off Longley Road, which we access through this alleyway down here. So it's really nice and quiet back here, really safe kids. Um, and this is a three bedroom, freehold house, um, chain free uh, as well, which is just a bonus. Needs a little bit of work. Uh, it's been lying empty for a little while now. I think it was tenanted and then the tenants moved out and the owners never really did much um, for a little bit. So as you can see, bit overgrown maybe you know you want to come in here give it a lick of paint at least that sort of stuff but incredible uh potential and also did i mention it's a detached house so let's go and have a look inside walking through the front door uh you come into this nice hallway uh off the hallway you've got downstairs wc super handy and just behind that you've got the kitchen um so Actually a decent sized kitchen. You kind of curve around the back behind the WC here. Uh, views out towards the front, just there. And then also the dual aspect looking over the garden to the side. Loads of storage space in here. Uh, you know, again, it's, it's a little bit, you know, old, I guess. Tenanty, you need your modernization, but it could certainly be a good stop gap. Um, you know, whilst you came in here, did a load of DIY, spruced it up, what have you. Um, this is the house to come in and get your hands dirty and really put your own mark on it, you know. Uh, the bones are really solid, but just needs that bit of work put into it. Uh, behind, at the back of the house, running across the full width, with this lovely reception room. Um, again, you've got two sources of light coming through, nice big window here, and of course, the French doors just on the other side. Um, which open up into this private garden area. Now the garden, obviously, as you step out the back here, again, is overgrown. It's not the deepest at the back here, but it goes right down the side here and right down the side on the other side also, uh, which is, you know, a fairly equal, um, equal width to this side. So actually there's loads of space around the whole house and what's quite cool is because you're in this little muse, you're in this cul-de-sac kind of kind of area, is that it's dead private and it's really safe. You know, you could let the kids run around the house, play and catch or whatever, you wouldn't have to worry about them at all. Um, and actually when you piece all this garden space together, it's a really decent size. Now, just taking you back into the house itself. Um, obviously we've got the first floor still to see. And the fire alarm, the, um, the fire alarm just beeping in the background. Oh, okay, so let's pop upstairs. Oh. Nice window at the side, bringing light into the hallway. Uh, family bathroom. At the end, similar story to the kitchen, perfectly usable, you know, we'll get you through, but let's be honest, we'll probably want to replace it at some point. Bedroom number one, decent sized double bedroom. Uh, obviously loads of inbuilt storage at the side here, which runs right back and the full length of the room. Bedroom two, which I think is the biggest bedroom, uh, kind of overlooks the back of the property. Again, loads of space for big wardrobe, big chest of drawers. I guess that's a queen size bed at the back there. And bedroom three, which is a smaller bedroom, kind of the, I guess single. Uh, you probably squeeze a double in here if you really, really, really wanted to. But a great kids room, office, that sort of stuff, guest room. And that's all we've got upstairs. Now, obviously the house needs a little bit of work doing to it. But as I say, structurally looks sound and potentially could be a really cool space. I mean, you know, if you spent, I don't know, 
20,000 here, it'll go a long, long way. You get your new kitchen, your new bathroom, your new flooring, you get some paint, you get some nice furniture in there, and suddenly you've got a really nice little uh, three bedroom house set off a really popular road, but in a super quiet spot with a great garden. I dare say there may even be potential to go into the loft at some point if you really wanted to. Uh, obviously a lot of the houses around here have done a similar thing. Um, I don't know if you can really see the pitch on our one, but you can see the one next door. It's got a really high pitch to it. So potential there. Um, and actually quite interesting. Um, I've just found out that next door to us here, because all these uh, houses, these, these big old mansion houses, have these big long gardens, and a lot of them have been sold off over the years. And I've just found out that next door here has actually got planning permission to build, uh, planning permission in at the moment being considered to put up three new houses. Um, essentially, they're gonna combine two of the gardens here. So it won't affect this house at all. You know, the privacy and everything will, will stay the same for this house. You have that big old buffer of a garden between you anyway. But yeah, next door, I think you may get planning permission to stick up another three houses there, which is kind of interesting to me because if they do, that opens the door up a lot more for yourself here. I mean, you've got a big pot. Worst case scenario, super easy loft extension permission. Probably get super easy side extension permission on both sides. You could make this into a really, really decent sized house. And um, from what it is, you know, you could probably more than double the square footage of it. Um, bit of a curveball, but if they're getting planning permission to put two houses there, I don't know. You tell me. Will you get planning permission to pull this one down and put two houses here? I don't see why not. But you know what? That's for someone else to figure out. Worse than the this amazing three bedroom house as it is. So please contact us and let's go and have a look.